This is Global Calling. You have a prepaid call from Jasper. An inmate at the Mule Creek State Prison, Ione, California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using Global Tail Link. This is Hop Service 203 upon the shoulders of giants. Great as the dawn be, mighty as the gods are. Great as the dales, mountains, and seas, I exist at your will, Lord Odin. Hail Odin, Odin hail. All oh, Father, I call out to thee with reverence and praise. Guide me this and every day that I shall draw the breath that thou gave to me. Hail Odin, Odin hail. Inspire me as you stir the void might within the cauldron of my thoughts, and lead me down that northern road which leads to honor in my place in your hallowed hall, Valhalla. Odin hail, hail Odin. Stand now I upon the shoulders of giants, having slain them who stood before and blocked my view of the great temples of the gods. Where are the great temples to our gods today? Where are the great feats of engineering erected, which tell all of mankind of our devotion and love for Odin, Thor, Frigga, Frey, and Frey, Tyr, Baldr, etc., etc., etc.? Shall we merely accept their place in history of what once was but no longer is? Is this what equates to the measures of today? This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Equates to the measures of today's sons and daughters of the North? The very lack of will and destiny in our hearts? Does our very seether of faith assume the station of mere pastime with which we used to occupy our time with while in prison or out there in the world as we grind down our existences from day to day. In the 42 years I've lived this Caesar of fundamental Odinism, I've heard too many to count boast and oath of all the great works they will do for the glory of our gods and folk. From people I've watched walk out of prison, from people who have never been to prison, from Odinists and House Truer alike, from men and women bent on leadership roles who have left us all empty. So then, I ask, where are these great temples and hoffs to our beloved gods that our folk may freely assemble in? Where are the sacred groves? Where are the halfway houses and charity organizations that I've heard braggers both to create over the past 42 years? Where? If we fail to honor our oaths, then we are failing to honor our gods, our ancestors, and ourselves. I'm not seeking to assign blame to others failed and dishonored oaths. I'm simply reiterating what I have written and said so many times over the past 20 years alone. That is that if we fail to construct a solid foundation upon the very lessons of our gods and stand inexorable thereupon, then what you believe exists in your heart shall one day disappoint you when it turns to dust. If we do not honor our oaths or stand by the very professions which pass our lips, then by what standard shall we hold ourselves accountable at the very altar of honor and integrity? I would rather assemble with just two or three other truly honorable souls in a living room or a den, as opposed to gathering with two or three thousand souls lacking said honor in a great Templar hall. Of course, Sam said, honor, there is relatively no chance of seeing any great Odin's temples and hoffs 
any time in the near future. For they shall only exist in the pages of history. Honor your oaths. Be the examples which others follow and aspire to. Think prior to boasting some outlandish oath. And for the time being, assemble with men and women of honor to honor our gods. Seek not to gather with those which honor is of no great import. For there in such places shall the gods remain absent, and only the lives of Loki shall be found. Rejoice in your kin and kith, who hold fast to their honor, and seek to live our Caesar and the knightable virtues daily, because honor and true faith are not pastimes, they are character traits. Hail Odin, hail your sons and daughters, may your Odin bless you I remain yours for fifth and fraternal solidarity for the holy nation of Odin. Odin Meadows.